Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Hey Corner Crew podcast. I am your host, Chad Veltry. I mean, JJ Lang. With me, as always, my two phenomenal co-hosts. First, you know me, love them, Nate the Little Goon Foss. Bye, Chad. Hope you find your dad. And also with us is everyone's favorite, Dan the Statman Scully. That was a that was a wild series. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna lie. It was I don't want to say boring, but uneventful. Oh, it is it bad that I was just in the good way? <laughs> in a good, yeah. Is like, it bad that I was already thinking about Niagara the minute Saturday's game ended? I was so because we'll get it, to them. We'll get to them. We'll get we'll get to it in a minute. But like it was almost like the results were like, okay, yeah, we expected that. So, quick update for everybody. If you were not, for whatever reason, at the Friday or Saturday game or, you know, went off the grid, um, the Tigers had an absolute slaughter fest of a series against Robert Morris Colonials Friday, Saturday for the first round for the quarterfinals, our first playoff games of this year's tournament. Um, I'm going to pass it over to Nate, and we're going to just jump right in uh, because there's a lot of good things to go over for us. Atlantic Hockey Rookie of the Year, Matthew Wild. <laughs> in his sixth straight game scoring a goal. Um, I won a bunch of them are power play goals, too. So I, I don't know what the number actually is, how many of them have been power play goals, but it's a lot. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and that came after a very stressful 30 minutes of hockey. Yes. I will be honest, the first period and a half, we looked like a team that hadn't played in two weeks. And Robert Morris looked like a team that they came out fired up because they, they knew they had to, mm-hmm. right? They You're yeah. playing against a team that is way better than you. But, and they almost, I, the minute this goal went in, done. Today, done. Six of his 16 goals this year are power play goals. Wow. How many how many in the streak have been power play goals? Do we know? Uh, That'll see. probably take a bit more to figure out. It won't take that much longer. Uh one. Anyway, he's been an two, awesome addition on the power play. Three of them. Yes. Three of them in the streak. Three of the seven in yep. the streak have been power play goals. Nuts. Mm-hmm. Um remember how much we were crapping on the power play earlier in the year? <laughs> Then they put Matthew, then Wayne put Matthew Wild on the power play and instantly switched. (laughs) It's been insane. Um, and then another another rookie, Tyler Fukukusa, who I think he's been waiting to pop off. And And he is the perfect time. This weekend was his coming out party. He went off this weekend getting Atlantic Hockey Rookie of the Week, by the way, too. Spoilers um, for later. <laughs> yes. Um, it wasn't necessarily from the kitchen. I'd say it was more from the front porch, but uh, Jojo Casero made it 3 nothing. No, you didn't say kitchen. You said dining room. Oh, I said dining room. That's right. You said dining room. You said That's dining right. it room. It was kind of off of, from his kitchen, but it was right there. Um, <laughs> And then Carter Wilkie got a power play goal. And it just unraveled. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Christian a... Catalano added one. Fukukusa got another one. And Grady Hobbs to cap it off. Zero goal in the first. One goal in the second. And six in the third. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll say this to, to piggyback off Nate's point. This team looked like, like you said, this team looked like they hadn't played in two weeks. It took them 30 minutes to shake the rust off. And then as soon as the rust came off, it was like it was like you had poured WD forty all over a rusty nut, and it was just going insane. So like, yeah, it was funny because I was talking to I was talking to somebody at the game, and I'm like, all right, first period, we got out of it, we survived it, right? We survived the oh my god, we haven't played in two weeks, rust. Mm-hmm. And this was the story of last of last year's first game too, one nothing going into the third. Mm-hmm. It, it was, it was, you shake the rust off and then you go. And then the third period in that game was absolutely bonkers. <laughs> yeah, the third period was even crazier. There were also, there were six goals in that, seven goals in that, for that third period last year, I think, something like that. 
Yes. Now we now in this one we scored the six. We scored we all of let them. Robert Morris get another one. Um they three also for three saw... on the power play, which was huge. Two of the power plays lasted under a minute. Even better. Like yeah, just that's... bang already, karma. Um this game was not as chippy as I thought it would be. Game two was chippy. That that was the game two one. was a little chippy. Um, the jock indirect contact was kind of weird. I didn't see a replay. I and yeah, that one I didn't understand. I didn't like that call. It it was. I watching the replay for me. That's shoulder to shoulder with whiplash, and the whiplash is not Jacques' mm. problem. Yeah. Sounds like the weight room issue. Um, Let Phil eat. And, <laughs> yes. Um, our good friend Chad Veltry, um, pulled after six. Five. Six? Five. Five, yeah. After five. Um, yeah, not his fault. He was left at the dry. His defense. I, I'll put it this way. I, I want to bring up J- uh, the point that James made in the Discord. So that was a good one. RMU the whole weekend seemed like their game plan was just don't get it, don't let us cross out, cross through the neutral zone. Mm -hmm. Just literally just four check press all day long because you know for a fact that we're going to go down there and just dump everything on. Like, we're going to just pop the pill in your face all day long. And like, what are you going to do about it? Like, nothing. So, their whole point is just try and hope to God they can stop us from scoring as much as possible. And just force a turnover in the neutral zone. They they seemed like they were banking on breakaways to score. Yeah, because their 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 offense minus game two could do literally nothing. Even literally, two, nothing. they didn't really do anything. I I, I say that because they had the the only goal they scored all weekend was in the third period of game two. And that um, was one that Tommy had yeah. pretty much no chance of stopping. That, that was yeah, no, that was a, that was that a was nice. a fluky one. <laughs> yeah, that was a tough one. Um. And I mean, Chad through two periods had 21 saves and 22 shots. And we were thinking, like, okay, it was one of those games where we need the next goal. Because mm-hmm. if we don't get it, it, we're in trouble. And then we got, and we got it. One. We got it two minutes in. And, and then we I got the next one. That was nighty night. And the next one. <laughs> um, Tommy Scarfoni, his ninth career shutout, win number 51 in his career. 21 saves, years. seven in each period. Um, it was a good win. Um, like I said, it was expected. Need, it, was a, it was a very much needed win. I think if this, if RMU for some, by some miracle, had won game one, that's got to suck the air right out of your chest because you're the number one ranked team mm-hmm. and the number 11 team just came into your house and beat you game one. Like, no, that does not happen. And I think winning the way we did too. Oh, is... it wasn't like a we play, it was close. It was like we yeah. throttled them both games. This is what we knew was going. This is what we knew this team was capable of. This is what we all said should happen. And then it did happen, which makes me feel really good. Um, game two, Simon on a great, on a great pass by Kevin Scott. Um, mm-hmm. Beautiful behind the back. Um, right to Isabel back door. That was that was a nice one. That was gross. Um, and then Fukukusa with four seconds left in the period on a on a great play by Catalana, just chuck it off the pad. Mm-hmm. Um, that, that was a pass. That was a pass off the pad. That was not a shot. It looked it was looked exactly like it was on purpose with and Way to get up the ice too with ten seconds left. He left the zone with ten seconds, and they went. Got, they had some. It was bang bang. Um, Christian Catalano got a on a awesome awesome face off play. Catalano lined up right behind. I didn't even see his goal go in. I just <laughs> I kind of like turned around. And it's like oh we scored. <laughs> um, I, it was a great play. Um. Fukusa right back Catalano, bang, three nothing. And that's when you kind of felt, yeah, this this is over. 
Well, yeah. and it felt the first one like this is over when Veldry comes out and they send in whatever mm-hmm. his name was, the other grad student goalie. I'm like, yep, Francis. This is just, yep, we're just giving Francis time to play now so he can have yeah. some ice time in his last game. Like, this is it. Yeah. I, it really did feel like this is done. It. I don't want to say and, it felt like they RMU it. gave up, but it, to me, it was like th- they know what's going to happen. They know this is I don't over. think they gave up. I, w- I wouldn't that's necessarily not, say they gave up. But... That's why I don't, I, I don't want to say that because that's not what I mean. But, like, it felt like they were kind of, like, starting to concede victory. They, mm-hmm. they were – they were admitting defeat. Yeah. Um, yeah. Xavier LaPointe, apparently all he does is score in playoff games. Yeah, literally. Aren't his only two hey, goals ever in playoff games? No, he's got I think he's got a couple this year. Yeah, he's got a couple. I, I know he got his first collegiate goal last year in mm-hmm. the Mercyhurst game in game two. Yeah, because it was him and Adam Jeffrey that both scored in that game. Uh, if, no, if, LaPointe scored in the, uh, in the next game. If he wants to he score did, in the playoffs, none of us are going to argue with him. I hey, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm cool with that. Nope. Um, then Carter Wilkie scored, but it got waved off for a ticky tack goalie interference call. That was so not happy crap. with that one. No, that was ta- that was so ticky tack. So like, stupid. come on, really? He barely touched it, and if anything, the goalie initiated the contact. And it was outside yeah. the plane of the crease, so mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. All better at that point. Whatever, right? It, it is what it is. It, it literally didn't matter. Um, do not do a Tanner goalie Klimke. interference, please. Yeah. Tanner Klimke, um, like we said, Tommy had no chance. No. <laughs> it was just no just chance weird. on that one. I was kind of pissed because I wanted the weekend shutout, but me too. Um, yeah. But then, uh, Jojo, this was from the front porch. Mm-hmm. This this was from <laughs> this was the front porch goal, and oh, his celebration like through center ice all the way to the other end. It was awesome. You you could feel that this Tiger team was like, yes, this that, is that, what we are the best team in Atlantic hockey. That's that, what this weekend. Felt that like. man shows no emotion until he scores massive goals, and then it's like everything he has pours out of him at once. Like it's <laughs> insane. And I will say, you're going to see the 0 for 9 on the power play. That's going to kill the power play percentage. But 17 shots is insane. Yeah, that's. <laughs> and that's with two power plays running. where we didn't have any shots. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I mean, one of those gets... power. And you got to look at, I mean, one of these power plays was 24 seconds long, which is. Eh. Well, eh. And, and one of them's in overlap with another penalty, mm-hmm. which. Right. Game two was much chippier, also, might I add. All Moss, see ya. I'm happy your career's over. That was scummy, by the yeah, way. That, that was ridiculous. That was intent to injure. And the fact that Wayne had to challenge this was drives me shit. insane. That should never have happened. That should have been called from the get go. The only thing that I can think of is. I don't know my mechanics for certain, but I don't think the high official's looking for that. And I think it's possible the low official is unsighted. But maybe. In in the end, they went and looked at it. They got it right. That's what really matters. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. If they had gotten it wrong, that's a bigger issue. Actually, speaking of mechanics, did you guys see at the, the goal that Pukakusa scored at the end of the first. The linesman was skating down and actually signaled the goal too. Yes, that was funny. I noticed that. I wonder if he's a referee in other leagues. Well, <laughs> just instinct took over. One probably, and two that actually is a mechanic in the rule book for officials. Is really under, under eight seconds left in the period the. It's the, just whoever. The near linesman is supposed to skate down to, to help cover the goal line with the referee. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, was I didn't know game, that. Was it game one or game two was the one where the goal, the puck was just sitting on his chest? Oh, it was Puka I you yes, had the that was perfect the, angle on this. Oh, and perfect. good on Hallman. Yeah, good on Hallman for not blowing it dead. Because it was, Veltri had his puck. glove on the ice, but the, the puck, puck was, was right next to it on his pad. And I don't know how this puck got in the net, but 
Neither do I. Oh, right from our, right like, now. right from our, because we're right, we're, where I'm standing out in the stairway, we're, JJ, you and I are right on the line. We're, we're, we could see it. And we yeah. were both screaming, it's not covered, it's not covered, it's yeah. loose. Good yeah. on Hallman for not no blowing it dead. Me. How many times do we see that whistle go? I almost feel like uh, if, if like, they're on the other side, the whistle blows. If, I if Hallman's he, on the other side of the net. I but. think he scooped up the puck and threw it in. It went along the ice. No, no, no. It just I squeaked mean, right in. I mean, I, I think he, like, like not through it. I think he kind of, like, grabbed it and kind of lifted it over his skate a little bit just to get it in. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. It, Who knows? It was, it, again, yeah. Good on Hallman, though. That was a wild um, one. RAT absolutely dominated Robert Morris this weekend in the face-off circle. Um, Tommy Scarfoni, 17 saves on 18 shots. Both Robert Morris goalies. Yeah, Chad gave up nine this weekend, but I mean, you're playing the best team in the conference, and you're and a team that has absolutely loaded offensively. The freshman line was on another level this weekend. They just flipped a switch like it was insane. We said beginning of the season, Catalano, Fukusa, Wild together, pairing them up coming from juniors is gonna be insane. And that has proved correct pretty much all year. Especially in the second half. Yeah, they just lit one up. I think once they came back from Christmas, that line started clicking. Mm-hmm. One why? Because Christian Catalano wasn't spending all his time in the box. <laughs> and, you know. Or, or in the locker room. Yeah. You know, no disrespect to our first line, but. I think if we're gonna win this championship, it's gonna be because of, be because of two yeah. things. I was about to Tommy say that too, Dan. and the freshman line. I think just the depth in general. Like, sure. I yeah. said it to somebody. I was like, Tyler Mahan, Philip Jock, and Tanner Andrew is our fourth line. Like that's insane. That is insane. Adam <laughs> Jeffrey has one of the best shots on the team, and he's not even in the lineup. <laughs> what? Well, the question now is we don't know. I mean, obviously, mm-hmm. unfortunately, Laskowski left the Saturday game not even Very seconds early. into it. We don't know how yeah. – we don't know what his injury is. We don't know what's going on with that. That did not look good, and I hated seeing him in a sling in that video they posted today. Yeah, that that scared me a little bit. That's not good. We don't know. So, But, again – I'm going to gonna say I would expect to not see him this weekend. Uh, yes, I would agree with Minimum. That. That did not look good. And then we honestly, Tyler Mahan going down too. Uh, he came back, but he was getting beat up all game. Why did Tyler Mahan just gets targeted by everybody? Like, whenever someone gets beat up, it's just Tyler Mahan is just there. He and then took either a in the middle of it or they missed too. Dirt. Yeah, that was a spear too. That was a spear. Yeah, a spear. yeah that was a I spear. I missed the spear. But... The spear was early. It, it was like, it was right after he got hit in the head. <clears throat> Like on a face off, mm-hmm. and then that, then he went out, and then he came back, which thank God. And then he came back, and because God, we could not afford to lose two wingers. My question, especially is, that you, play the same size. I mean, my side. question is if if Lasky's out, um, my my assumption is you just move Tanner up into that first line. If Tanner can play on his off wing, mm, good point. I think if anything, you put Mahan on that line, which I kind of like. That actually might I like work. the thought of that because Tyler Mahan's got a little nastiness to him, and I think that <laughs> line kind of needs that a little bit. So, I mean, oh. if Tanner's on that line, just put Carter Wilkie in front of the net and let Tanner go get the puck. I, I mean, <laughs> Tanner just throws it over there anyway, and someone will be there to just flip it back in again, so who knows. But So, a two-game sweep, um, good. Yeah, two game sweep, just like all of the Atlantic. I want to say, I was going to say, Dan, you want to talk about the scores for everybody else because that was the story of the weekend. It was kind of weird. I did not see that coming. I didn't either. When was the last time that happened in the quarterfinals? Uh, I believe it was uh, 2010, Dan. (laughs) What happened that year? I can't remember. Don't. Can we talk about it when it happens? (laughs) Yeah, please don't say that, Dan. That's I don't want to talk about it. Dan, those very words will open Pandora's box. Do not do that. <laughs> so, like we said, sweeps across the board. Holy Cross over Canisius. 
Good. Four three mm. and two one in overtime. Mm. Double overtime. Yes. Yeah. It just doesn't show that on the league website. That was a weird that was a weird goal because the Holy Cross guy went behind the net and he was going to go around. But the one who uh, I don't remember who scored the game winner. But anyway, um the Holy Cross guy was just sitting there and banked it in off um the freshman like, they had don't remember his like name some, like weird um, end around reversal like you'd see in the nfl pretty much, like, yeah like, kind like of they take them out kind of well it was <laughs> on the other side that's wild it was awesome that's kind of great <laughs> it's a great play um that's hilarious i picked holy cross this week but man i would have really liked to see kinesis this weekend i would not have complained if holy cross went out round one just saying mm, that's true because I, I really like them in their semifinal matchup. I mean, we kind of said the same thing about AIC getting knocked out last year, and it came back to bite us. True. Also, um, what seed were, was Holy Cross last year? What stop seed it. is Niagara Stop this it. Year? Stop. No, you're not helping my PTSD. Damn. Stop. Shut what? the hell up. <laughs> what color is each team? Stop it. No one gives a shit. Shut up. Uh, JJ. Um, He's making it. me mad, mate. We're not censoring things anymore. Ed. Yeah, we gave up on that a while ago. <laughs> yeah. We're not We're not too bad. We could be worse. We could I be still sent the sign stamp anyway. That's okay. That's fine. Um, um, Niagara over Sacred Heart. Six shout out Sacred Heart giving one. up. Shout out Sacred Heart giving up five goals in the third period on Friday night. You bums. Sacred Heart and giving up five unanswered on Saturday. They are choke artists. They are. They really are. They, they do this every year. They had a fantastic start, and then they straight up blew it at the end of it. like the second half. They had and their second half started pretty well, and then towards the end they just they were getting rocky and then niagara rolled in there and just pounded the life out of them and it's like yeah and aic over air force three one and three two in overtime this was the surprising series to me. yeah i, I really that thought coming. this was going three yeah I did too, and especially once Air Force was up two nothing going into the third. I thought it was over. I'm like, okay, Air Force is winning that game, and AIC is gonna play. They're gonna play. They're gonna play Sunday. They're gonna play Sunday. No, that may have actually given Holy Cross a massive, a a massive advantage going into the semifinals. That was a really nice shot in overtime, too. By the way, (laughs) yeah, it was. It was the loudest bar down I think I've ever heard. (laughs) I mean, well, so listen to this. Think of this situation. AIC Air Force goes to game three on Sunday. AIC wins. They now have to they now have to spend an extra day traveling to get back home. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's that puts them at a massive disadvantage. In this case, because at that point, run- I yeah. wonder if they don't they probably don't practice Tuesday. No, they probably don't. So that would only be I mean, not that they have to travel very far this game. It's probably barely an hour, if that. Yeah, but, but even, yeah, but these are two very short trips between. Semi-final. That's very true. The, these could seriously, if this was like a pro series, this would have been this would have been like a crazy home and home. <laughs> three on three, they get it near side to Somerville shoots, and he scores. Ping. We couldn't hear the ping at all. Yeah, man. Oh, I'll send it to you guys <laughs> after. Um, holy crap! What a goal! Um. Yeah. Niagara. Good. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea how pumped I am for this series. I'm so ready for this. And don't get me me. wrong. Once they drop the puck, I'm going to be fine. But all week. (laughs) No, I'm I'm a wreck. I'm so ready. I'm off on Friday, too. So I'm going to be miserable. (laughs) I might be at GPC at two in the afternoon. I'll I'll be with you. Let's do it. Just because, like, I. I can't sit at home anymore. <laughs> oh, the be, hard hat's coming with me, by the way. Good, it should. I'll yeah, be fine once once I get in the zone for the game. About 
about the time the referees come out of the room for intros. After you're done spilling your water all over my standing area? I'm not the one that spilled it. <laughs> and her Andrew obliterated it. With his... <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least it wasn't the fire alarm. <laughs> yeah, thank God. That would have been so bad. You so... know they're the ones that set it off at shoe, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so let's, before we get to our series, not let's, shoe, go, slow. Let's, shoe, let's, slow. let's go over what we think or our predictions for the other semifinal series. Let's do that real quick. Holy Cross and AIC this year split a home or AIC swept them in early November and they won in a shootout at home in January, but then Holy Cross won six to two. Um, I think it's going to be the same thing this series that it was with Canisius. Can AIC outscore Holy Cross? Grandy is playing He's like on Jason Grandy right now. He's playing so well. <laughs> I mean, a lot of he people was were phenomenal this weekend. <laughs> a lot of people were complaining. Why did Tommy not get goaltender week? But I. I th- I don't want to say I agree with the decision to give it to Grandy. I think I no, think I one hundred percent agree. I think it could have gone either way. I think the reasoning of Grandy faced way more shots than Tommy did. Yeah. Tommy made thirty eight saves on thirty nine shots this weekend. Jason Grandy I mean, had that same exact stat line in game in two. One in yeah, in one <laughs> game. So he was on. He was yeah. on one. Yeah. Um. It is going to be an interesting series between those two. This I, I honestly, I think it can go either way. I think it can too. This comes down to goal. I do. And if whoever's team has the better goaltending. Because if Grandy shows up, it's over. AIC is done. They're going to get caught. Yeah, they're toast. Um, and Grandy it doesn't help off. that AIC, now they have a lot of depth because – Eric Lang likes to carry a football size roster. <laughs> um, Sorry, he carries two complete rosters. That's what he does. But it helped part. him this weekend because they're missing I'm... what seven of their ten top scorers, which they is... are banged up, and a lot Thanks of those guys are out for this season, which makes it's... so this is this is tough for them. This is they tough can do it. They can do it. But this is tough. Honestly, don't be surprised if they do. I won't be surprised. They're rolling. They're rolling right now. But now that is not that's not an easy trip in the regular season to go in and sweep. It doesn't happen very often. Teams don't go to Air Force and get sweeps that often. Even last year when they were having a down year, it didn't happen too much. But this AIC team is rolling and they've got a lot of momentum. I still think Holy Cross wins in three, but I think they will too. That makes three also, of us. The absolute just breath of fresh air that came out of me when I realized that we will not have to do with Air Force the rest of the season made me so incredibly freaking happy. It was, it was like, yes, oh, thank I God. Will, Air I Force is gone. Thank the Lord. <laughs> I have lots of playoff PTSD with Air Force. So <laughs> the, the on our side with this one, they've eliminated Air Force um, for us. Thank you. I would have loved it if they would have eliminated the purple team we have to play this nah, weekend. But... Screw it. I want them. I, let's get to them now. Fuck them. Let's go. Bring God, JJ. Here. I'm done. JJ, we got to stop, man. I'm so ready, man. I'm so ready. I'm we in. Gotta stop. I want to plow them. I don't care anything. Just bring them here. When they, when we, we, when do we I need to go them? over what happened with Niagara for us? No. When we, I don't them, want to. When we beat them in that Saturday game, I, the first things that came out of my mouth were bring them back here for the playoffs. I want it. JJ Can is I, insane. I, <laughs> um, I'm a psycho right now. It's bad. I saw a guy in a purple Eagles hoodie today, and I want to kill him when I saw him. Um, it was like on site, just death glare as he walked by. <laughs> I mean, I do the same thing, but <laughs> um, yeah, one, one, and one, two games where we beat ourselves, and that's okay. why I feel good about this. 
I don't think this team is going now, to let those mistakes happen again. I think we've cleaned it up since then. Friday night's important. Yes. Friday night is very, very important because you have to win game one. I don't think Niagara can beat us two nights in a row. No. I feel like I'm having the same conversation as we did last year going into this round. They can't beat you two nights in a row. You have to win game one. You cannot let a game, a Liam McClinsky one nothing overtime goal beat you this year. You can't. It, you have to win game one. And I think it starts the minute the puck drops because they don't like you and you don't like them. Good. The problem, the benefit you have is you're at home. You have us behind you. Mm-hmm. I still want blood. Listen, um, this is where we need to come into play. So they you got the riot pad ready, baby. Oh, get a new one. Ready, Dan. Oh, you go buy a new one. I. When I bought these ones, I bought a five pack. Okay, <laughs> bring a fresh one, baby. Listen, just listen. I would have been more Here's worried one. about using the riot pad if it was Canisius. This is honest. This me. is gonna get. Shit. Oh, I'm I'm little. so ready for this. This is gonna oh, get. Shit. And I hope so I hope for this. I am all for, and I will I will say this lightly. If the referees just want to call everything, go for it. Please. Sure. Yep. Please. Because it keeps guys from getting hurt, and you don't want to see anybody get hurt. Yes, because that's what that's the last thing we need is another guy getting hurt. Um, I want to see who they put on the top line, but I think the benefit is that freshman line is on fire. That the yeah, I mean, they're just they're on it right. They have hit a stride, and unless they get seriously thrown off, I do not see that stopping. They have been an absolute, an absolute offensive unit for weeks, and they turned it up another. Now, granted, it was against RMU. They right. suck. <laughs> like RMU is bad. <laughs> That's the point. But. We made them look stupid. <laughs> that's the thing. Like, that's that's where I'm getting at. Like, yes, RMU stinks, and they were not good, and we lit them up. But we were we should have done that. We should have done that, and we did. Yes, good. Now let's go into Niagara and do it again. Well, let's invite them here and let's do it again. Um, we, we all know that those dudes, that our guys, are ready for this. They are. Oh my God, bro! Jared Fisk has three assists this season. Whatever. What? Destroy him. That's all that matters. That was were, wild. were all of them at home? Probably. Why? Home SID controls whether oh, assists yeah. are awarded. They're the official. That's sport. probably why it was that way. <laughs> Okay, point. Let's go check a little bit. Com- combined penalty minutes in all three Niagara games this year between all the teams. Four hundred. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yes, is the answer to that question, Dan. The answer is yes. um a lot. <laughs> Not really. Oh, I don't know because game one didn't really, the first game didn't really feel like there was a 200. lot. 200 penalty minutes. 58 total. Total? No way. Yeah, that's going to get... I guess they didn't dirty. really... They didn't hand out any post-game either game during the home-and-home. Home. No. <laughs> they could have. <laughs> and, again, I, they, I, I'm, I'm going to look at that... They probably should have. I'm going to look at that last home... Yeah, they probably should have. I'm going to look at that last home-and-home home right now. If I, I've said it before. I've said it. I'll say it again right now for the last time. You don't turn the stupid puck over on that power play twice and give up those two breakaway goals, you probably win that game. Mm -hmm. We can dominate them. We have done it for multiple periods throughout the year. Let we need to do it for two complete games. That's all you have. This team can do it. Like you guys are worried and like scared and like, Holy crap, here comes Niagara. We don't want 
my spidey senses are like look like I, yes, I they're think dangerous. I'm, more, I'm not scared of them. I'm I not. think I'm again, I'm I'm scared of us falling into their trap. They want you <laughs> to start pushing them around. That's what they want because they're if they get a penalty, they're gonna take you with them. Mm-hmm. That's very correct. That so, has been their game all year. We can't fall into their trap. And my thing is they know how to beat us. How do you beat RAT? Do you know? Head. Get in their heads. Get in their head. You bully them. That's what you that's how you beat RAT. So what you we need can't. to do as a collective fan base is bully them. If you can get in nah. their heads first, they fall right apart. Look at the third period. I want, have the I want Jared Fisk's head hanging the entire oh, weekend. On a stick. That third goal, when 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 our guy starts skating away, he just put his head down because he yep. knew. Like, it's already damn. done. Mm-hmm. We need to score first Friday. Yeah. Get the first goal, and then we roll. Get the first goal, put your foot on the pedal, and put it to the floor. No, um, two, of the, two of those three assists were away. The only one that was okay. home was against us. In the second game? Uh, no, the the single. The first one. I he actually had assists in back-to-back games. He had another one at Canisius. That's sick. A goalie had a point streak going? That is insane. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think was going through his head it. going into that, that next game? He's like, oh, man, I got to get I'm going to score here. this time. <laughs> You say that, but he probably, if he, he had an opportunity, to, he, he might have got it. Do it. <laughs> he was probably feeling cocky, I, a little I, cocky I, at that point. I, I don't I, blame him either. I, I'm so excited for this. Like, I, I, I know people have been like all week, oh my God, it's Niagara. Oh my God, I don't care. I don't care. Bring them here. I've been wanting this since we beat them Saturday. Mm-hmm. Nate, you Saturday said, games. Nate, you looked at you. You said the same thing to me at one point. You're like, bring them back. You said Nate I did. looked at me Saturday and said, bring them here. Bring JJ, them here. JJ, you're acting like I am not going to thoroughly enjoy ending their season. No, I, oh, oh, you have I am absolutely going to, no idea how unbearable I will be. I'm going to en- enjoy the crap out of it because I might go off at their social media intern that came after us last year. Be like, they are ah. going to block us after that. That's what's going to happen. They haven't They're blocked us already. Things. So we are not. Really we are not using the official corner crew Instagram page. We are using our personal ones. JJ, fine, fine. We'll just throw shade at them on the story. That's all, <laughs> and tag them in it so they see it. Next like we usually week, dominant, do. regionally dominant. Oh. <laughs> Buddy, you've won four games more than you've lost in the last <laughs> two years. Shut <laughs> up. I hate that guy so much. It's not even. I he has I, a losing record. I all that's time what in makes Niagara. It even funnier. He's such. He's just a bad coach. Jason Lammers <laughs> has the most punchable face in Atlantic hockey. <laughs> if I saw him on the street, bite. I'm getting arrested for assault. <laughs> Please I, don't. I We're cannot a, stand. We that. are pushing it this episode. <laughs> I'm like, I, I have said I would take any job in hockey. If Niagara came out and said, hey, do you want a job? I would say go no. fuck yourselves. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, ah, ah. I know. That's on me. I mean, I got my – hey, sentence enhancers. <laughs> you know what? I, I also – I've told people on Discord recently. Bob. I, I hate – listen, I'm a Yankees fan. I hate the Red Sox. I'm a Raiders fan. I despise the Chargers with every ounce of me. I hate the Niagara Purple Eagles more than both those teams combined. I, we score twice. And, we score three times in 17 minutes. Who cares? I would <laughs> I would absolutely love nothing more than to watch their program crumble to the ground and cease to exist. That is like heaven coming to earth for me. If we end the – should we end their season this year? I can die a happy man. Uh, I'm not there yet. Uh, Niagara's I, I, strategic I, I, athletic communications office. 
you guys really call yourselves strategic communications? Yeah, they're strategic and jacking ticket prices to scam their own fan base out of their hard-earned money. JJ, what fan base? Jackasses. That's not bad. No, no, that's fine. That's no fine. I, I'm not timestamping that. <laughs> um, seven o'clock both nights. Fill the building. Five o'clock if necessary so, Sunday. And here's the Free thing: also tickets. with this. Come I back feel early like from if, break. If, if this is any other team besides Niagara, maybe Canisius. If this is any other team besides Niagara, I think the crowd is lighter because of break. I think now that it's Niagara, people are we like, had oh, some I'm coming good back. crowds this weekend. Yeah, we did. We had almost over 3,000 people on Saturday. Yeah, that was awesome. And that's you know what it is? It's, it's the locals. It's also the like, the Amherst kind of suck right now, and nobody wants to go watch. Hey, them. hey, hey! They got hey, they got four out of six this week. We're good. We're okay. <laughs> we're 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 rolling again. Um, anyway, unfortunately, one of those losses was in the building behind Dan, but <laughs> that drives me nuts. Um, and, hey, at least they didn't lose to the Amherst. They at least they oh, beat the Crunch at hello, home. Back, finally. Back. <laughs> Dan has a floating backpack. Is this? Is it like Dora's backpack where it talks to you, Dan? <laughs> no, I don't use hallucinogen. Does, does the NCAA rulebook? Uh, he's not like Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> no, Nate. The, and his 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 copy of the hockey rulebook is like the map. It just guides him to the press box. Um, yeah. I'm so ready. I'm so I cannot wait till Friday. It's not even funny. Also, Jay, if you're listening to this, not like it's going to matter because it's going to come out probably five minutes before the game starts. You oh. need to bring your giant banner. That's lovely. What? I just read a stat that Niagara is five and two all time against RIT in the postseason. Yay. Let's change that then. So I in 2019, um, I kind of oh. called it – in 2019, I called it the uh, RIT uh, revenge tour because – we played the two teams that had beaten us in the two prior years before in the playoffs, and we got Sacred Heart, but we never got Niagara. The revenge tour is back on. Yes. I, I cannot wait, man. I literally cannot wait. And look, I look at it this way. What has this team been saying all year long? We want to get back. And we want to finish the job. Okay. Now prove it. Think back to the You're Tommy back. interview. Tommy yeah. literally, Tommy literally said to us in the interview we did with him, "We're going to win this regular season championship again, and then we're going to get, and then it's back to work." Yep. That was what they showed us this past weekend. Back to work. That that was they. That was that was a business. warm up. Yep. They handled their they. They handled that like it was a business deal. It was like, yep, yeah, all right, cool, next. Who's that, next? That Friday game was one of the cleanest games I've seen from this team all season. Mm, oh, the third period third, was kind of rough. The third period the third was period the best, one game. of the best Correction, periods we've yes, played all season. Correct my statement there. Third period yeah. was – that was just a clinic. If you can yeah, replicate I, that level of dominance against Niagara, it's a walk in the park. Because if this becomes a – if we start pouring goals on, I don't think Niagara has the offense to be able to respond. They don't. That's where our strength is. If if we can sc- if we can score, you got to get past Fisk. Jared That's Fisk is going to have to win them this series. Can he win them two straight games against us? He can win two games. I don't think he can win two straight, but he can win two games. Look, they. If you think RIT is just gonna cakewalk their way through the next two rounds, I'm sorry. No, You're in the- these are gonna be really tough. These are gonna be these tough are going games. to be very hard and very stressful. I might die. Just saying, I might just collapse. You might die. We all might die. What are you talking about? Did I mention that I literally fell through the stairs when Robert Morris hit the crossbar in the second period on Friday? <laughs> he fell down. <laughs> Shout out, uh, shout out JJ for picking me back up. There. He was on his butt. I'm like, get up, get up, get up. JJ and Frenchie were picking me back up, and I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> Zach thought you were hurt. <laughs> no, I'm good. Zach's like, oh my god, Nate fell. I'm like, he's fine. Leave him. 
<laughs> he's just his heart's not working. Hang on. <laughs> I mean, his heart has a small palpitation. He'll be all right. Uh, yeah, we're good. Okay. He'll be um, fine. Yeah, not like I have a family history of heart attacks. No big deal. <laughs> Playoff Uh-oh. hockey is not the best for me. <laughs> um, I love it though. This is the best I love it, here, man. I love it, and I'm gonna tell. I'm, I will never say it during a playoff game that I love playoff hockey. I will always say that I hate this. That he this is miserable. Too. You say you hate this all the time, and then you and then we love watch it another, and then we watch another game that we're not involved in. You're like, this is awesome. This is the greatest <laughs> thing ever. Dude, I tell you what, a, as a Sabres fan, I hate that they never make the playoffs. Right? I want them in the playoffs, but I will tell you what. There's nothing I enjoy more than sitting on my couch and watching four playoff hockey games at once that I do not care about at all. <laughs> and watching all the fans in those games be stressed. And to, all hell. I love I love hockey Twitter during the playoffs because everybody else is stressed. And I'm like, hey guys, <laughs> it's <is> fun. <laughs> Game seven of the Stanley Cup final, everybody's just having panic attacks. And I'm like, this is amazing. So, Can't yeah. wait. Let's Friday night. Let, let's do our predictions. Well, we all know who's gonna win. We all know who are, we all know who we think is gonna win. But let's do our prediction for how many games. JJ is like seven one and eight nothing. Yep. RIT wins. No. Fifteen to one and thirteen to two. RIT in three. I think I really hope it doesn't. But this is gonna go three. Realistically, I think we will sweep. I, that, that is, it's I mean, going to be close. I'm, Here's the if we sweep, it is that. going to be hard. Yes. It's going to be very hard. I, I think I said to Dan before we got on, don't be surprised if at least two of these games go after, go over 60 minutes. I wouldn't either. Do not be sure. Honestly, all three could. Let's be honest. That I think that may kill all of us, so maybe, maybe we don't want that, Sunday, but... I would die Sunday. It's... I would absolutely die. Especially I, considering that I, last year, for some reason, I started a tradition of standing during overtime in the press box. <laughs> I remember that. Hey, do you remember we're like, yeah. yo, why is Scully standing up right now? I thought, dude, I thought he was going to jump. <laughs> but when so JoJo when scored, I, I'm like, he's going to fall out of the press box. <laughs> At least it's no. better than fall. You're not going to fall out of the press box. But, like, dude, you would have fell out of your chair if, during that JoJo goal. <laughs> Dude, Tal- sure. Tal- Talbot and I are sitting there real and he, someone the Talbot's like, yo, Dan Scully is standing up right now. I'm like, why? I looked up there for a split second. I'm like, why is Dan the only one not sitting down? Like, this is really He's weird. into it, baby. <laughs> He's a fan. <laughs> part of the ship, part of the crew. <laughs> <laughs> if he's going down. Da- if he's going, if we're going down, he's going down with boat. us. <laughs> yeah, I am uh, I I'm excited. I'm ready. Listen, the, the, the inner or something. Anybody want to do anything Friday in the afternoon? Because I'm, I'm not down. working and I'm going to be I'm stressed. Down. I'm <laughs> Are not you off? I'm Let's down. Go do I'm something. off. Let's do something. Let's go do something to like keep our minds off of it. That's a good <laughs> idea. Go to like go for a uh, nice walk in the park. Man, dude, if we there was, could... if, dude, if there was a top golf in this area, we'd just be out there just uh, I'd be, dude, everything. I, we're going to go find a range and just hit golf balls. You know, we're going to help Niagara get warmed up. You know, that yeah, we should invite we should invite Chad. <laughs> hey Chad, we need to come kick your, we we let me just kick your ass out of this printer printer but come up to Rochester and hang out with us for a couple hours. This conversation reminds me of how Coach Kuhn took our men's lacrosse team to Dave and Buster's the morning of the national championship game in See, 2021. That's coded. <laughs> That is the most based thing I've ever heard. In That's my life. amazing. You know what that was? That was like, let's let's relax. Good. Let's relax. And they won. It was a day in Boston. double it's overtime. And I was double. Dying. It was stressful. I'm so pissed. We did. I'm so pissed. I didn't go. Me too. <laughs> but dude, it was pouring. Dude, you both would have <laughs> puked in your seats. What do you mean? No, we would have died. Yes, you would have been corpses <laughs> by the end of that. Anyways, I would have, yeah, I might have run on the field. Um, <laughs> is there anything we want to end with before we uh, wrap this segment up? Oh, so, not, 19th in the poll. Oh. Yeah, the poll. and that's about as much time as we should give the poll at this point in the season. Yeah, yep. it, doesn't, it doesn't matter anymore. Anything happen? Anything wild? Oh, Ohio State upset Wisconsin this weekend. That was yeah. huge. 
That's awesome. And Lake Superior um, State scored with six seconds left in that game was three. The most insane Did you see the goal, goal? I've ever yeah, seen in my life? That was a great I watched goal. that replay. Holy that crap. Sucks. <laughs> um Ferris State almost beat Bemidji on Friday. Bemidji <laughs> tied it with like 40 seconds left. For reference, Ferris State is 63rd in the pairwise. There are only 64 teams in Division One hockey. <laughs> Let me so guess. They're bad. <laughs> What made you think Stonehill? <laughs> I cannot wait for uh, May when we finally else? get the Circle of Suck. That's going to be the best. I cannot wait for this year's Circle of Suck. It's going to be We great. got the Circle of Suck already. When, the minute Stonehill won a game, we got the no. Circle of Suck. No, because no one's won the Natty yet. It doesn't matter. Do the Circle of Suck circle is of every. Suck is? The Circle of Suck yes. is everybody. Everybody has beaten to, beaten everybody. I know, but I'm saying you, you can't formulate all of it until oh no, you can. Never mind. We're good. Yes, you can. Nope, you're right. We got it like a month I, ago. I, I'm just used to like the NFL one where they wait till the until the season's over to do all of it and do it that oh. way. Where they somehow create no. the math that the worst team in the league is the best team in the league because such and such team um, won, whoever won the Super Bowl that year. Ooh, Omaha swept North Dakota. That put that gives BU a nice cushion in the pairwise for second. Mm-hmm. I, I think I, I said this once, and I'm like, okay, best case scenario, right? At least, and I'm, I'm looking ahead a little bit here, but I think it's okay. Um, best it's case scenario theorize. for the Atlantic Hockey Champion, because all four teams are in the East, so that helps. Best case scenario is BU and BC play in the Hockey Championship game, and BU wins, because that's not enough to knock BC out of first, but it's not and it'll keep BU in second. So the one and two seed go to Providence and Springfield. And then we, we want Michigan State or Minnesota to win the Big Ten. And then we need Denver or North Dakota to lose to, to the other one or just lose in general in the national championship game. Or not the, the <laughs> NCAC championship. Yeah, that's not possible. Denver Nodak would be an insane national championship Holy game, by the way. Crap. I, sign me up for that today. <laughs> if, if, if not RIT, sign me up. Or BCBU. That would be oh unbelievable. My God. Oh. Could you imagine that? Holy crap. If not us, I want that. I want BC. I want to watch Jay just crumble. <laughs> Could you imagine Jay if B who beat BC in the Natty? <laughs> he'd die. I think he just I, I would cheer for B. He just turned to <laughs> dust. He'd just fall apart. Um anything else crazy? Uh UMass dropped. That's good. Because they're screwing everything up right now. <laughs> um correct. Yeah. So fun weekend across the country. Oh, yes. Um, everybody's in playoffs now. Hockey's playoffs start Wednesday. Ooh, They're RPI knocked off Clarkson. <laughs> I saw that was a cool one. That RPI was knocked off Clarkson this weekend. That was huge. Um, oh, Penn State women are going to Madison to play SLU and then get smoked by Wisconsin. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's happening. Yeah, Wisconsin's kind of the scary team this year for the ladies' side, but yeah, they beat Minnesota and Ohio State in their tournament semifinals and championship. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> um, so yeah, and they they beat Minnesota in overtime, then they beat Ohio State six to three. Mm. Yeah, well. I think that's going to do it for this week. Now that we've gone totally off the rails, or no longer even talking about either of our teams, um, we had to fill some time. Does anyone have any final thoughts before we get done? I hate this. It's a long <laughs> week. It's only Monday. Yeah. But when this come out, it'll be not Monday. Maybe it'll be Thursday. I don't know. You never know. We're both Zoe and I are both off tomorrow. She can edit this tomorrow. Yeah. Dan, any thoughts? I just I want to get this over. <laughs> Not the podcast, the series. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Dan. Ouch. Yeah, man. Thanks for yeah, throwing wow. us under the rug, you jerk. Uh, <laughs> we um, get it. We get it. I do also want to eat dinner because I haven't done that yet. <laughs> 
Okay, <laughs> yes, well, that, that's why I'm wrapping it up right now. <laughs> With all that being said, follow us on social discords in the link. See ya. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notifications so you're notified when all new episodes go live. Put in the comments how rude Nate was for interrupting my outro, please. That'd be really nice. Um, in the description will also be <laughs> will be links to um, all the socials, Instagram being the big one, um, and the Discord. You can jump in there. A lot of people joining that recently, which has been great. What are we? Are we closing in on? No, we're not. We're, we when did we just pass eight hundred? We just passed eight hundred. <laughs> we just got to six hundred, JJ. <laughs> that joke. There's going there's an inside um, joke that a lot of you might not know. There's that that joke's never going away. Um, nope. 822. So we will see everybody this Friday at the Policini Center. Come back from break early. Let's be loud. Let's show these purple idiots what we're made of and beat the life out of them. Let's do it. Have, have a great week. We'll see you guys Friday. Go Tigers. Roll tag. That was a jumbo. Fuck no, Zoe, leave that in. <laughs> Please leave that in. All right,